welcome back to another video. We are here in Zabrota right now getting fueled up and on our way to Urbana, Illinois. So we're going to be heading over there and um, dropping off at Super Value and then we are going to head over to Indianapolis, Indiana. my videos I've been talking about my weight loss and uh, I would say it's been going average I really haven't gained weight and I also haven't lost weight I've, my record low is 240 and that's kind of where I've actually been sitting is right at 240 pounds so hopefully this week get right back on it and uh, drop I want to really pretty bad I want to get into the 230s again with my highs being 260 uh, some pounds so being down even to 240 from 260 feels a lot better 
my clothes all fit so much better. I feel more energy. Just that little bit of weight that I've lost. Time is 
my windshield trying to keep it defrosted. The disappointing thing about the app is that you still have to wait for them to authorize it inside. You'd think because you have the app you can just have it authorized and it just works, but you still gotta wait for them. So yeah, actually not too bad at all. 73,920 and we're about 31 on each axle. So we're just gonna leave it right there and get her on the road keep her moving so far it's been pretty easy going the only thing that uh, has really been an issue is some of the drivers out here some of the cars drive really slow so you come up on them a little bit faster than you think and uh, that's why I just might as well take her easy out here and not run into anybody not cause any accidents because we still want to stay out here and keep trucking so we'll see you guys out on the road here well we made it to madison wisconsin here coming up on uh, the 90 94 split where we'll keep her on 90 and head her to 39 and drop down into urbana there takes us pretty much all the way there i believe kind of forgot now but anyways one great thing about having this visor is that you know only half my window gets iced up but then afterwards it starts once you start getting into warmer locations the ice drops down on the visor and slowly smashes into your window <laughs> what's about to do it it looks like i was trying to show you guys what it does there on the outside of the truck you'll see the whole visor is just covered in ice there's a cab over for you good all right guys well here we are we made it to uh the loves here and i just gotta see where we're at because i'm not 100 percent sure But we got to stop for some more fuel here. Currently stopping about every uh, 400 miles for fuel. So I can usually make it a little ways, but uh, yeah, I definitely need to get the tank fixed on there because I just, I can't stand doing this anymore and it's so pointless. Just a lot of wasted time and constantly having to get fuel and yeah, not a smart thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> run on one tank but I don't always make the smartest decisions the worst part about it for me is two things stopping all the time and the second thing not being able to get a good amount of fuel at a good price because if I'd fuel up in Wisconsin right at the border there kind of well in Madison or by, right by DeForest Wisconsin it's a dollar ninety nine for diesel and you come over here and it's a uh, dollar or I mean two dollars and forty cents so yeah we're gonna get fueled up here we're making do with what we got for now I'm a little bit tired the day is starting to catch up on me here but um, we're gonna make the rest of the way our appointments not till 10 30 and I think I'm gonna get there at about eight o'clock so not bad at all Let's get out here, get fueled up. I'm gonna run in, grab a coffee, and we'll see you guys when we're done. All right, so we end up getting door 57 here. We made it to Urbana, Illinois. The 
parking lot here is absolutely terrible. Remember last time I was here, it was really bad, but you think they fix these things up as much as they gotta drive in them. I mean, the potholes are so deep. I just try and avoid them all. Yeah, we're gonna go get back to door 57. I know you guys can't see very good, so we'll see uh, probably after we get unloaded here. We made it here to our last drop. Um, this load for uh, Kemp's ice cream in Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, the, went pretty good, except for this morning. I woke up, it was weird because it was like, uh, probably just like my uh, body had its like a subconscious alarm, I think is what you'd say. But I woke up at five, which is when I needed to, but I went to grab my phone and look at it to see what time it was, and my battery died on my phone, and both my chargers that I have ended up being messed up because I don't know what the deal is with it, but they like melted on the ends, so I couldn't even plug my phone in. But anyways, I had parked at a pilot, last night after I got unloaded and uh, slept till this morning 5 a.m. and then got up woke up for a while and then just went in and grabbed a new charger for my phone so as you can see we got one now that's it's actually pretty durable it feels really stiff right there which is where they always get wrecked as you know but I have a feeling it's something to do with having it plugged into here that maybe it it's like too much and I think it was like touching the metal on there so I don't know that's all I can think of but we're backed into the dock here we got to stay five feet away you can't break your seal here they break it and they'll even open your doors up and then you just kind of back in so after this sounds like if I get unloaded fast enough here I've got another pickup ready in Indianapolis and that's headed back to Minnesota so not going out to uh, or down to Georgia this this week. So as you guys can imagine, the floor it's pretty dirty, being white. So yesterday I stopped in the pilot and grabbed a little uh, sweeper thing with a dustpan, so I can sweep my floor up and try to keep it as clean as possible. And then I'm gonna have to get some. Uh, cleaner stuff to wipe it down and get all the dirt and stuff off of it but I do really like having this type of floor because it's so much easier to keep clean compared to the carpet you don't have stuff sinking into your carpet stinking and yeah so we're gonna get this cleaned up I am unloaded here in Indianapolis now uh, we lost out on a load because it just took a little bit too long to get unloaded here in Indianapolis. So he's searching right now. We've got one already potentially going back to uh, Minnesota, but he was gonna go put some higher bids in at some other places now that I'm for sure unloaded and go from there. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I'm gonna go uh, probably get a coffee and then figure out where we're gonna go from there. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. 